Hello, what's up guys? This is Alien Chaos and in this video I'm going to present you the Waves Flow Motion VST, a powerful FM synthesizer with a snapshot sequencer built-in which gives you, you the ability to change your patch dynamically and create very motion and crazy patches like this one. <laughs> Yeah, so in this video, I'm going to cover all its features and take a look on how it sounds. So let's go. Okay, so now at the full reset patch, let's check about the oscillator section. Each one of this is one oscillator. They are interconnected with these wires which send the signal from the oscillator to modulator another. On each oscillator, we have the ratio function, which is very classic in the FM synthesis. So you can go up to 36, also there is subharmonics, you can select the wave shape, just like the basic shapes. You can also have control of the octave, tune and fine tune. There is also this option to work with a fixed frequency, but usually we use the key track mode. Uh, you can also select between phase modulation and FM modulation for each oscillator, which is very cool. We also have feedback function, which make the, the same signal from the oscillator go to modulate itself. Very cool when you combine more oscillators. Here we have right and left panning, and this one is this all this knobs here is where you send the signal so this one here is sending to the master output so that's why we are hearing this oscillator now i'm gonna add the oscillator 2 start to modulate this one we already start to to hear the waveform distorting by the modulation For example, I can use oscillator 3 now to modulate the oscillator 2. And for example, use the oscillator 1 to modulate 2, which is going to modulate again. The only thing here is if you exaggerate so much, you only get white noise sound. Very common in FM synthesis. So when you use multiple oscillators, take care about the amount of the modulation of each because you can easily get white noise. Here's the feedback. We can also try different waveforms. and different ratios. It's very nice, you can go crazy with these modulations routing signals between the oscillators, which is very cool. There is also four modulators here in the right side that you can, for example, right click in the these dots over here. It's the modulation points that you can apply these modulations. So for example, you can right click here and select modulation 
A, then it's routed. Here it's the amount of the modulation. On this modulator, you can select between LFO or envelope. So for example, let's use this as an envelope for now. Or like a LFO. Very nice. So every dot over here, you can put modulations, which is very nice. And of course, uh, there is another page in this VST. You can go to the motion page. The motion page, you can get more movement and more options for your tones. For example, there is an analog filter over here. You can select here, here it's a low pass. So there is low, low pass, high pass, bend pass, and notch filter, 12 or 24 octaves. And there is also uh, an envelope totally integrated for the filter. So for example, to use this as an uh, envelope, I'm going to use the low pass filter, set the envelope amount over here and make some snappy make this kind of bass sound with the filter which is very very nice very very common very very nice also here there is an EQ that you can adjust some tone of the the synth There is also a high pass filter and low pass filter. Very nice. Here is the amp section of the synth. So yeah, very classic. You can select release, attack, decay, sustain. Also effect session with drive, distortion, crusher, phaser, flanger, and chorus. Very nice. Some delay over here, you can simply change to musical intervals. And there is also a reverb. You can also uh, have unison, you can select more voices up to Four voices with the tune and spread options. Polyphone mode, pitch settings that you can use portamento, tune, fine tune as well. Uh, there is also the master volume uh, here that you can also apply a limiter, which is very nice to prevent any uh, clipping from some hard processing internal in this plugin. Also here in the flow section, we also have arpeggiator, very classic, and also note sequencer, if you like it, so we can have control over the, the notes. But the best and unique feature of this VST is, the, is this snapshot sequencer. Snapshot sequencer lets you take a snapshot from your patch and sequence in some musical interval. Very, very nice. So let's create some sounds. I'm gonna initialize here the filter. Okay, let's start with this one. I'm going to make a high pass filter. This will be my first patch. Okay, now I'm going to exchange here the sequencer that you can select how many steps you want in the sequencer. Maybe I'm gonna use four for this video. So I'm going to copy and paste to all slots. Now, for example, I can go to snapshot two and change a bit of the 
the tone. For example, I can go here and select a band pass filter. Let's put some LFO over here. Yeah. Okay. There's another one. Nice. This one, let's make some crazy with the LFO on tune over here. Uh, let's select sample in hold. And then I'm going to modulate this. Let's put some unison. Nice. So now I have uh, four different uh, chambers or patches. I'm going to make this one a little bit uh, faster. Let's see how it works with the sequencer. For example, I can change the height. Let's stop the sequence. So, by this way, we can have some very dynamic patches like this. So, let's check how it sounds with some kick and bass. Nice, very nice. So that's the, the thing about this plugin. We can have some very dynamic patches and we can go very experimental. And I think it's super crazy. You can get very different tones and put them in sequence. Take something a little bit further from the classic synthesis. So I hope you enjoy this VST. Please, if you like it, definitely want to check my 10% discount at waves.com so i'm gonna put a link on the description of this video then you go there and get 10% on any vst from waves so hope you enjoy let me know if you have any questions about this vst or any kind of things put in the comments and let's make killer music guys see you in this next video